Well, we are back at ye old build plate, and this is my first build for somebody else. My wife and stepdaughter both play the clarinet, so I'm 3D printing them some mouthpieces and some reeds. I only had about a maybe 40% 40, 40 success rate with the reeds. I, had, I tried to print 10 of them, only 4 of them came out, and six of them failed you can see down there in the bottom of the vat that uh, there's they're stuck to the bottom i think what i have to do when printing reeds is i'll need to put them closer together so those so the support bases all stick together or you're going to get them stuck to the bottom of the vat but lesson learned and this is where whenever you clean those up uh, always use the little plastic scraper that came in it and make sure that you have your vat on something nice and smooth so that it won't whenever you're picking those things up off of the bottom of the vat they they peel up smoothly and you don't and you don't mar up the bottom of your vat so that your uv rays don't uh, harden things correctly it might interfere with that if you do and these are almost done and whenever they get done we'll have a look at them all right let's take a look at them I think they came out just excellent <clears throat> and the, <coughs> the reeds that I that I did get look really really good my wife is not very confident in these things although my stepdaughter is pretty uh, optimistic I think they're gonna do fine and I think she's going to like it better than she thinks. Alright, time to go clean them up so that I can get them out in the sun for a little bit and let them dry. And harden up. Alright, there you go. I printed these off for my wife and stepdaughter. And man, they look store-bought. I still got a cork the bottom of it there to make it functional I'll have to sand it smooth and then glue glue a thin layer of cork around there and uh, it'll be usable and I managed to actually print off four I, I was going to print ten but six of them failed I needed to do my my bases different I, whenever you're printing something this thin you need uh, you need to have your bases so close to each other that they're touching, so that the uh, so that you'll have the support needed for these not to pull them off the the plate whenever they're pulling up. But I only managed to save four of them. But uh, they're B flat, three and a half inch reeds. They haven't they they still haven't fully cured yet. But whenever they do, they'll be just like a plastic reed. And I can't believe how they, I mean, they even have a, a reed texture to them. Uh, I don't know if that's picking up on there. But uh, I can't wait to hear them play them and see if they do any good. And they show, they certainly look substantial. And they look, and they're for B-flat clarinets. This thing just, this machine just keeps on amazing me so then and if you get you one it'll amaze you too which by the way i'm in no way affiliated with cheaty tech or the uh nor am i being paid to tell anybody about the shadow 
I just got it. I love it. And I just want to share it with y'all. And the stuff that it can do. I mean, this thing... Uh, I mean, this ain't, this ain't just some cartoon character. Uh, or or some skulls or something like this this is the actual piece functional piece for a musical instrument i've got to print some stuff out for my mandolins maybe i can print me a fancy pick plate for my mandolin hmm that's got me thinking there make sure and like and subscribe and you just might see a see a fancy pick plate on my mandolin before long <laughs> See you next time.